So I know a lot of y'all be uploading y'all beats to YouTube, TikTok, IG, whatever, but it always be the worst quality. It's always distorting. Like nine out of ten times I see a beat on IG, it be distorted. I guess a lot of producers skip the simple technical steps when they starting out and then when they advance never really get back to it. But that's what this video is here for today. So I'm finna show y'all how to export your beats so they're not distorting, not sounding horrible when you upload them to any social media. So we got this beat right here. So obviously this beat is clipping, but it's not going over zero dB because I have a soft clip on. But now if I will export this beat and put it on IG, it will completely distort and yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, this simple way to fix it. So I think the easiest way to fix it is with L2. Now that's probably a plugin a lot of y'all have. And the only thing you gotta do is, I know it's so simple, but just go to this out knob and put it on minus um, 1.2. If you wanna, for example, drop a beat tape for all DSPs, export all your beats at minus 0.07. But for any social media, including YouTube, TikTok, IG, whatever, put the output level at minus 0.12 and you're good. It should not change the sound of the beat, obviously. The only thing it will fix is that it's not distorting on social media platforms. Now, another very important thing is that I almost forgot is to turn oversampling on. So I would at least put it at eight or 16. Yeah, I could explain what oversampling does right now, but simply put, it's just making sure that the quality is as best as possible. The cleanest way to turn down output gain to avoid distortion on social media platforms is by using invisible limiter. As the name suggests, this limiter is as clean as it gets. The only thing it will literally do is turn down the output gain so it won't distort. With this limiter, it's basically the same process. Just turn the output gain down again to minus 1.20 and turn the oversampling up to at least 8x or 16x. And yeah, you're good. Now you can also do this with Fruity Limiter by just turning down the ceiling to minus 1.2 dB. But I tested it out and Fruity Limiter does not sound too clean. Again, I don't think y'all can hear this on YouTube, but yeah, this, if you try it out yourself, you will definitely hear a difference. Another limit that you can use if you maybe want to add in a little bit of just analog feel is Ozone 9 Vintage Limiter. Now in this case the ceiling gonna be the output gain. Now just turn that down again to minus 1.2 dB and you're good. You know, so you can try around with analog to modern character. And if you really want to go that extra mile, you might be able to you know, make your beat sound a bit better with this limiter. And now to fix the low quality thing, especially on Instagram. Enable high quality uploads on your phone or upload to Instagram from your PC slash laptop. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I think it will help a lot of people because yeah, like I said, I see the story beats, especially on Instagram all the time, even from like big producers who just skip the simple technical steps. Like if this information was new to you, make sure to subscribe, like, turn on notifications. Y'all already know that really helps push these videos to other people. All that being said, crazy kids coming in the very near future so stay tuned for that check out my existing kids first link in the description stay blessed i'm out